A drill press of any size has one main operation, to drill holes. This machine is set up so it can bore into any piece of material at a perfect 90 degree angle, providing holes that are plumb from top to bottom. By using different size drill bits, it can drill holes of any size. Some ancillary purposes of this tool include spindle sanding, plug cutting, and buffing. Hello, this is the Powermatic 18-inch variable speed drill press. It's located in the back of the shop. In order to just use this machine, you need safety rated eye protection. You can't wear any loose clothing. If you have long hair, it needs to be tied behind your head away from the machine. That's right. Make sure your area around this machine is nice and clean. You have no loose scraps or any other obstructions. The purpose of this machine is to drill holes at a perfect 90 degree angle so they can remain from top to bottom. The drill press is used for uh, various materials like wood, <laughs> plastics, and metals. On the uh, wood, depends on the size of the drill bit. It may be smaller or larger depending on the application. Bit in the drill press, you always want to make sure that the machine is unplugged and powered off. In order to do so, you take a bit, stick it up into the chuck here. This piece right here, which is called the chuck, and slowly tighten it counterclockwise until it's nice and snug within the chuck. In order to remove the drill bit, do the opposite. Loosen it to the left, and the drill bit will come out. You can use these planes right here to move it to a desirable location. You secure it by securing the clamps there, and it locks it in pretty tight. It has an extra stop, so you can use the stop any type of material you're working on. All right. Now we're ready to turn on the machine. You just plug the out. All right. All right, machine, the key needs to be inside of the, the insert. Once the key is inside the insert, it's pretty simple. You just pull, the machine turns off. You must adjust the speed to the proper setting. In order to do this, come back to the variable speed lever and turn it to the desired speed. This is slowly increasing the speed of the machine. You may only change the speed of the drill while it is on. If you, do, if you do so otherwise, you will mess up the pulley systems within the top of the motor. Do not ever crank the handle while the machine is off. Only do it while it is on. Once so you have the variable speed set, machine's on and running. You want to come down slowly by using the pilot control level lever to begin to bore into your material. Do this rather slowly and methodically. Once you start making contact with the piece of material, only remove half of an inch of wood at a time. Once you've removed roughly half an inch, bring the control level back up and let the extra material be removed from the hole. Repeat this process until you have drilled the desired depth through your piece of material. In order to turn off the machine, you press the power button. Once you're completed, unplug it and leave the cord dangler. The sorted drill bits located here in the stainless steel cobalt toolbox, fourth drawer down on the right. The different kind of bits include a hole saw. Spade bit, standard twist bit, and there's also metal cleaning things, along with various other metal cutting and plastic cutting drill bits.
Now that you're done, always remember to clean up the area and leave it better than it found it. Make sure to clean up any debris, any sawdust, or any items that might be around. So the people next that use it after you will have a safe area.